Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, December 18th to the 19th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Feel free to switch up the roles as you feel suited to. And remember, time is fluid, so is energy. This could be past, present, or future. And pay attention to the energy that you are surrounded by, because if this does not resonate with you, Perhaps it does with somebody around you, and you may need to be a messenger. So, use your discretion, as, you know, they say, don't shoot the messenger. So, Libra, let's see what we get for you for the next 24 hours, shall we? Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. I do appreciate it, and thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions, as well as comments. See what's going on. We have the Tower Libra. We have the Queen of Swords. That's you and the Wheel of Fortune. See now, there's always a blessing in towers. That's why I love them so much. As as traumatic sometimes as they can be. Now sometimes it's, this can be a surprise, but let's see what the angels have to say. serendipity serendipitous moments always take you by surprise and you want to uh, this is interesting it's like when these moments happen you want to try to use your logic to explain them and you can't it's fair to say you can't that's the queen of swords here they're saying don't try because it's not going to make sense. There's no explaining serendipitous moments away. This is destiny. Serendipitous moments are there for a purpose. The Wheel of Fortune talks about beginnings and endings. Something ending so something new can begin. Jupiter also is the ruler of the Wheel of Fortune here. And that is the planet of luck and expansion. In these serendipitous moments, i.e. the surprise tower moments, um, that takes you by surprise. Forget about trying to use logic. Just be in the moment with this serendipitous moment whether it's a moment that just involves yourself in you know happenings around you or whether this is a moment that you share with somebody else let's look a little bit further that's interesting okay tell me more about this um no i'm gonna start with this serendipitous i want to know what it is tell me about this serendipitous moment oh the emperor this is the Aries Taurus card for me as a reader. More Aries than Taurus for me. Now the Emperor talks about foundation. This is somebody who's very confident. This is somebody who's a great leader who knows the direction they want to go in and gets what they want. They go after what they want. They have blinders on, go after what they want. They don't give a shit about what everybody else thinks. They just do. And they usually get what they want because of this confidence, because of this leadership. They are leaders, not followers. And I'm feeling this is who this serendipitous moment is going to be with, this emperor. Which is very interesting because the stance that you take with the queen of swords mentality and trying to use your logic right, to explain the serendipitous moment away is something the emperor might do. The emperor is not going to do that. The emperor is going to be very accepting of this moment. Well, see, now that's the wisdom of the emperor. That's what comes with the emperor. An emperor is who's, who is well balanced anyway, right? Tell me more about this emperor. Now, just because it's an emperor and it's male energy, remember that this is not indicative of gender. We all 
contain male and female energy within. It's just the expression of it. So tell me about this emperor. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me a little bit more about this emperor. Ooh, the devil card. This is the card of Capricorn. They could have Capricorn in their charts. But there is going to be a strong, strong attraction to this emperor. A strong se sexual attraction. Be careful with this energy. As with the devil energy, mm, it, can, it can draw you in. Okay? And if you take this devil energy too deep, okay, you're going to hit mud. It's like if you keep digging a hole, all right, you're eventually going to hit water. And that becomes mud. But yet, if you dig a little hole and you want to keep cool, it'll do exactly what you want it to do. It will provide you with that coolness, right? So it's like everything in modicum, in balance. Like this energy, uh, this sexual energy, great for the bedroom because it's passionate, it's intense. But careful not to take it too far. This talks about codependency, toxic relationships, which I'm feeling the emperor would not let you go there anyway. Because the emperor knows health, they're saying. like the, I, the health in a relationship is important to the emperor. Because the emperor needs to function and needs to, you know, it's a businessman. Right? Could be a father as well. But it's a businessman who needs to function on all levels and needs to be well balanced. In a toxic relationship, it's not going to maintain that balance. The emperor knows this. So I feel that this emperor won't allow you to go there with this energy. Tell me more about this uh, devil card. Tell me more about this devil card. Is this just sexual in nature? What is it? Hmm. Okay. Nine of swords. Anxiety and fear. Okay, this attraction may scare you, Libra. This attraction to this emperor just may scare you and give you anxiety and fear because it's very strong and intense the devil energy is extremely intense extremely especially if you've never experienced that type that level of attraction it may take you off guard and you know and for a libra to be it may throw you off balance and for libras to be thrown off balance it's not a happy libra right okay so tell me how is Libra going to react with this serendipitous moment with this emperor? Huh. This is the wish card. This is the card of Aquarius, the star card. This is your dream and your wish. This is why you're going to try to logic this away. It's like, oh my God, like I've wished for this. Maybe this serendipitous moment is something that you actually imagined a long time ago. Uh, you know, dreamt about. You know how we dream of scenarios sometimes. And maybe this moment actually happens and you're like, holy fuck, this is actually a dream and a desire that's like right in front of me. There has to be um, a logical explanation. This is you. This is Libra trying to explain this away. But don't because you manifested it. That's what it is. I feel like you healed from something in the past and by healing the past wounds, you let go of energy that no longer served you and you allowed this energy to exist and manifest. And this is why this is happening. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Libra. Go with it. Yeah, see, magician, told you. Manifesting, you manifested this. The magician is the card of Gemini, and this is the card of having everything in front of you and around you to manifest whatever you want. Okay, any advice for Libra when they come across this moment? 
any advice for the Libra? Let me come across this moment. Ten of Swords. Let go. Let go. This is betrayal and feeling backstabbed. But I'm feeling with this card, it's just uh, let go. Don't feel like, they just said set up. Don't feel like this is a set up. Don't feel, it's almost like you're paranoid. That's what I'm feeling. Like some Libras out there are paranoid. Like you're going to be looking around like, okay, uh, where's the camera? Or who set me up? Um, th that's what I'm feeling. What other advice do you have for Libras? Oh. Eight of Wands. Go forward with passion, right? In love. This is the Eight Wands of Love. Eight of Wands. It's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? So put a fire under your ass and get going. Go with this. Go with this serendipitous moment. Take this and run. Okay, Libra? I hope this resonated with you. I hope so. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I do want to hear it. I want to hear all about this serendipitous moment. Uh, if it did happen, let me know what it was. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.